Hey guys, this is Serge and today we're going to take a look at how to export your Final Cut Pro project into DaVinci Resolve for color grading and then import your project back into Final Cut Pro. A while ago, in the Final Cut Pro 10.4 update, Apple added some great color grading tools such as color wheels and curves to Final Cut Pro. And while these tools allow you to achieve almost any look you can think of, they're still a little behind DaVinci Resolve's color grading tools. Luckily for us, you can download DaVinci Resolve Basic version with a full set of color grading tools for free and easily round trip your Final Cut Pro project into Resolve for color grading and back into Final Cut Pro. Down in my timeline, I have a short one minute project that is ready for color grading. To grade it, we'll export our timeline as a simple XML file compatible with most nonlinear editors, including DaVinci Resolve. With an XML file, DaVinci will use the same source media as Final Cut Pro. This keeps the file sizes nice and small, but if you're moving your project between computers, make sure to also copy the source media folder and relink your media. For this example, and to keep things simple, we'll assume both applications are on the same machine. First, let's export our project as an XML file. With your project selected, in the menu bar select File and Export XML. In the Export window, give your project a name and select the save destination. You also have the option of exporting the current XML version, XML 1.8 at the time, or the previous version. Using the current version will have the most up-to-date features, but depending on the NLE you import it in, may be buggy or not even supported. I suggest trying the current version first on a test project, and if you have any problems, go back to the previous version. So, select the current XML 1.8 version and hit save. A tiny XML file is exported. Next, open up DaVinci Resolve and create a new project. To import your Final Cut Pro XML file, select File, Import Timeline, and Import AAF EDL XML. Select your XML file and click Open. In the import window, make sure the automatically set project settings and automatically import source clips into media pool are selected. Also, if you applied any base color corrections using the color board in Final Cut Pro and you want them transferred to Resolve, make sure the Use Color Information checkbox is selected. Keep in mind, only adjustments made using the color board will transfer over into Resolve. Any adjustments made using color wheels or curves or any secondary color corrections will not transfer over. Click OK. Your XML file will be imported into Resolve as a very familiar looking timeline with all your video, audio and effects as separate clips, just like in Final Cut Pro. And since we're referencing the same media, you can even make adjustments to your timeline in here, but I'm not going to get into that in this video. For now, I'll open the color grading window and color grade my project. Once our project is color grading, let's get it ready to go back into Final Cut Pro. First thing we need to do is render out our color grader project. Click the Deliver button in Resolve, and in the Render settings, choose the Final Cut Pro 10 preset. Select the location you want for your render file, and the codec you want to render your clips in. Add your project to the render queue and click the Start Render button to render out your project and export your video files along with an XML timeline file. Now, to import this XML timeline back into Final Cut Pro, select the library you want your project in and from the menu bar select File, Import and XML. Navigate to the folder you render your media into and select the XML file created by Resolve. Click the Import button. A new event will be created in your library with Resolve in brackets at the end. Your color graded project will be inside this event ready for finishing touches and export. If you want to learn more about color grading in DaVinci Resolve, let me know in the comments below and I can make a video about color correction basics in Resolve. For a more in-depth look, check out Ripple Training's new Resolve 15 course. I'll leave a link for it in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you back here next week for another Final Cut Pro tutorial.